sometimes when you're running stuff on the CNC, you run into a scenario where you need to stop the tool path, but you want to come back to that exact same point. So it could be that it's such an extensive tool path, you can't finish it today because you want to go to bed. So here's how this works on this system. On your fob, and yours might look a little bit different, but the approach will be similar. First thing, press stop. Now this is where it's important. I'm going to shut off my dust collector. At this screen, save or discard the brake, we want to save the brake. So I'm going to press OK. We can use these arrow keys to toggle between the two. But I want to save. Then here, brake list. I can scroll up and down this. And I've got slots that are empty because I've never used them. If the slot has already got something in it, we can overwrite that. So at this stage, with that line highlighted, if I just press OK, what I just did is I saved that tool path at that specific point. So now we, whatever, go do our stuff, go to bed, come back the next day. And now what's really critical is when we want to run this, we're going to start it a little bit differently and you're going to hit the run key, the run button, and the one button at the same time. And that takes us to the brake list. And then here, we can use the arrow keys, scroll up and down until we get the one we want. This tool path is cookie. That's what I'm cutting on the machine right now is a cookie. So that's the tool path I was just on. When I click OK, this is where we were. We stopped it on line number 65. If you want to buy some insurance here, we could use the arrow keys and go from line 65 to line 64, and that would resume one line ahead of where we stopped it. But honestly, I find if I start again right where it stopped, it works out OK. From here, from this screen, OK. And then that takes us back to this familiar screen. And then if you watch the machine when we come back, this is where it's interesting and cool, is that it's not going to start, it's caught in the center of the cookie, which is where the tool path actually starts. It's going to come out here to where we left off.